for fundraising, um, advice that I would give to filmmakers is the, the best thing you can do is, is make your film low budget, but with high production value. Mm -hmm. The less you spend, the less you have to be caught in that stage of, of the process. And if you're a student, you have a lot of resources that you can use. You've got cameras, you've got friends, you've got the gear. You're obviously not paying yourself. So um, go as, as low budget as possible. <clears throat> and then when you start to go for, for funding, what's worked for us is to start with something small maybe a Kickstarter campaign or a small grant that's easier to get or a local grant, and then just slowly start stepping up to bigger foundations and grants. And, and I always give the advice to filmmakers to watch credits of films similar to yours to see who they're getting funding from and just write a list. I mean, I spend more time in the credits a lot of times than in the film, just pausing like, who, what's that? What's that foundation? Who are they? What do they do? Um, and, and I feel like it's just this kind of a catch-22 and it's really annoying, but once you start to raise some money and get some grants, they start, then you start getting more. It's like no one wants to be first. It's, it's really awful. <laughs> it's like, no, I just need to get started. Um, but you know, we just got our second grant for our new film and I just know that now it's gonna become easier. But at the beginning, it's just like, no, no, no. You just you just start to go, oh, there's another one. And you just can't let it get you down. You just have to know you're in it for the long haul and not the short haul. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like MacArthur Foundation. Okay, next, Sundance. Whoosh. You know, just, just take it all in stride and stay positive and just keep going.